This, for one thing, is the New York Times, folks. You recognize what they, how they feel about this issue. And so, the, the headline is, Grassroots Roared and Immigration Plan Collapsed. So, thank you. And it goes on to say, it's a long article, and it quotes a lot of people, but what's your name? What's this gal? Uh, Paris Hilton. I just saw it. I saw it. Paris Hilton got put back in the prison. Everybody's going crazy in the jail. And, and the, the, the sheriff put her there. I, I mean, I'm glad that there wasn't some sort of like nuclear war start somewhere, because it would have never gotten any coverage as long as this Paris Hilton thing was going on. Every single, every single station constantly, right? And and so, but they they send her almost instantly because of, I mean, who knows why? But, but because the, the, according to the sheriff, the jails are overcrowded, terribly overcrowded, and, and that's undeniably true. We know that that's true in, in all kinds of states. It's certainly true in Colorado. Twenty-seven percent of all the people in federal prisons are. Uh, not just illegal aliens, but, but criminal aliens. Okay, these are people who, some of them, who were in the country legally as an alien who committed another crime. Twenty-seven percent of the federal prisons. Thousands upon thousands of people are killed in this country every year by people who are here illegally. Most of them in drug-related or, or, or alcohol-related accidents or, or things like that. Thousands. It's in the thousands. How many rapes? How many? How many robberies? How many burglaries? I don't know, but there are, the, the numbers are astronomical. So, so are our prison systems affected by illegal immigration? You bet. 